I just saw a chess piece that you made. That's right. And yeah. that, of course. <laughs> yeah, let me, yeah, can I grab yeah. one of these pieces? Sure. They're it's a little like delicate, incredible. but hold on to them. These are uh, Martha, done by one of our designers. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, so uh, let's talk. Let's talk about the the form one. So the form one is a 3D Oops. printer. Oh, it's it's Dunzo. two parts. Yeah, still I see good. that. Yeah. It's still good. Oh yeah, it's uh, not a little delicate. Good. Okay. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Let it be. Let it be. No, I fixed. See, the idea with this guy is that it's, it's going to be more high resolution than other 3D printers on the market, right? Why is that? That's right. So this is a stereolithographic 3D printer, which means that stereolithographic. It, that's right. Yeah. Which means it uses a laser in an optical process to cure a liquid resin. So, so, like it, in, so it reads, in, does it read a drawing? Exactly. In okay. yeah. layman's terms, the idea would be that you have this, this tray right here and it would be lifting up from a pool of resin, right? Exactly. That's, and then the, a laser, that's the resin holder. Exactly, yeah. And then a laser would shoot and harden what it pulls up. So it's building upside down and lifting. So okay. I, actually, back here, we have a printer. Uh, there's not a whole lot to see, but it's working well, on have. some of those chess pieces yeah. that you saw. Um, so here you can see the liquid there, and over time it'll be pulling that part up and out of that resin. Now that green light you see, that's the laser itself. So the drawing, this is like a CAD drawing? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, so we do you know, household furnishings, we do a lot of tableware and a lot of kitchen appliances and, and utensils. So uh, that's what I really wanted for because we're constantly making the, mold, the, the, the model. Absolutely. And, then, and we've been sending it out to Sure. A 3D printer. Sure. So we need this in our office. So, you know, uh, this is exactly what a machine like this is designed and for. And how, what's the dimensions? How big, a, can yeah, it make Sam, a fork? What's the biggest product so you can build? It can do, uh, it's about five inches square. It's on a short fork. Is this uh, it? And it goes about six <laughs> inches tall. Pieces. You can do or, the handle. So this is two pieces here. Pieces. Yeah. You know. The Eiffel Tower. Um, yeah. So, and you can see the real, you can get really intricate fine. ornamentation and design. Yeah. And that's really the strength of this kind of printer. So if you really want fine detail, but really capture all the elements of your design. Now I read your, I read the, the material, I guess it was in the program or in the, maybe on uh, TV I saw a, a thing about you. Um, and this is what about how many, this is about $8,000? This is actually about $3,000. This is the $3,000 right, one. Yeah. And the larger it gets, the more expensive it gets. You guys only have the one model so right now. So oh, we're right. sort of really focused on this guy. There are other printers out there that do get much larger. Yeah. Our idea here is to keep it at a price where you could really have it on an individual designer's desk. Could say sort of like a laptop or a, a CAD machine. So what's this the beginning of? This is the beginning of something. This is actually a uh, bracelet that was designed by another oh. local company to Boston called Nervous Systems. Um, and uh, you can see it's printed uh, on the build platform. You know, it sort of comes up out of the resin oh, like I see. this. So and then how do you how do you, you uh, get it? You cut it. Oh, you, you cut, cut it. it. And okay. they're designed to actually peel off easily. So you can do balls like this? These are all products that you've yes, done? Yes, oh, these have gosh. all been printed. Get a little bodice of yourself and hand it out as a business oh, card. Oh, a little. Something. Oh, that's just what I want. I know, I have a little Martha printout. Somebody yeah. just sent me the bust of Benjamin Franklin as a candle. Do you think I would? And the, and the wicks coming out of his head. I would never do that to Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> that, was, that was awful. Bar barbaric. <laughs> barbaric. Um, oh, but you can make skulls. Oh, yeah. You, so, that's... so this is very good for medicine. It's, right. Yeah, it's really amazing. So in, in, in particular, looking at making customized medical devices, oh, yeah. there's an enormous amount of interest. Teeth. My, gen Teeth. my dentist mm -hmm. is actually using using a 3D printer now to formulate caps for people's teeth and uh, and uh, different things for... The, for yeah. I mean, I think... Dentists have been using 3D printers for a while, and we are now seeing it spread out to more places, um, right. like homewares. There's the idea that you are at home, and maybe like a little bracket or some little right. piece of something breaks off. You can go find it on the internet, print it, and you're done. Instead of having to right. go and, and send, find that little and send piece. that hinge then to the metal maker, and he'll, right. he'll make the mold from that. And do yeah, it. and in okay. fact, here's a here's a here's a nice piece showing something that is very close to a finished product. Oh. This was printed on our machine and then electroplated. Oh. Um, and that Is real it metal? It's coated in metal. Oh, it's so coated. it wasn't it wasn't entirely printed. Oh, the okay. insides were printed and then it were coated. Right. But one thing that I like about this is, is thinking about creating replacement components and parts right. for things that need restoration or antiques so that yeah. you really can't obtain the designs anymore. Uh, just, just the shape of Exactly, the yeah. And if you just have that like, digital drawing, you can do just about anything. And how long does it take uh, to make, say, uh, that bracelet? How long did that take, uh, the this, machine? This took about two and a half, three hours. Oh, okay. So it's 
it's it's time consuming, but not anything like hand carving. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yes. I mean, it really, you know, I say it depends on how you're measuring. Just um, think if the guys at the Taj Mahal had a 3D printer. <laughs> They'd be done pretty <laughs> quick. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sam. We're going to head off and, uh, and see some more 3D printers, actually. Okay, Does that sound okay. good to you, Martha? Cool. Thank Very you for stopping by Good luck with the product. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh.